Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Zeba Nation Plays Football Manager 2017, American Manager in London. Here we have a new match for you today. Of course, we're playing in the FA Trophy. We made it to the second round against Bishops Stortford. Uh, they're in our league, our competition, and, um, you know, they're pretty good this season. Fourth place, they got 44 points, 13 victories, so we're kind of in a, uh, a battle here for first place. As you can see, we've just, uh, dropped down from first place. We had a tie against Margate, which allowed Eastburn Borough to leapfrog the both of us up to 48 points. Uh, you know, uh, last couple of matches we've had a couple of draws three draws and a win so you know we lost a few points there but we still haven't lost a game in quite a while so we're looking good still at the top of the table it's fine it's fine but now we got to focus on uh, this here old trophy competition it's uh, breezy with drizzle 50 degrees out so it's a little little chilly but it's not too bad Take a look at uh, uh, our squad. Well, we'll go to the team selection screen. Why not make it official? Uh, so we're going with a 4-4-2 again. Our coaches have told us to be defensive against Bishop Stortford. So this is our better defensive formation. Got a few substitutes in there. We brought in PK at the defense. Central defense, that is. Um... LB Hopkins and Luke Rumble have been asking for playing time, so I'm going to give them some playing time in the trophy. Also, we have an, a Venerama game two days from now, so i got to have some substitutes in there for this match, so I've got a healthy first team for the Venerama game. Paul Quinn has been asking for um, playing time. His brother, who's also on the team, at least I'm going to consider them his brother, Tom Quinn has also been asking for playing time, and I gave him some playing time last match. And he promptly got injured, so. So much for that. So our young players are chomping at the bit to get in the first team. And can't blame them. A lot of them have a lot of potential. It's just there's not a lot of room for them right now. And that's one of the problems when you reach this level of your team. When your team starts to mature, you got to pick out the young players who are developing and who are growing. And leave the other ones behind, unfortunately. You can't have young players at every position, even though. You know, we pretty much do, but like I said, as your team matures and grows and you start getting, you know, 24 years old, that's when you've got to really sit down and evaluate and say, this is probably as good as this player is going to get in terms of a star rating. He might improve a few attributes here and there after the age of 24. And, and certainly they do. Players do improve incrementally after the age of 24. But in terms of just rapid growth, rapid development, if you've got a young player who is rapidly developing, you got to play him above maybe some other younger players who are just either haven't gotten their chance yet or just have been given their chance and didn't quite develop quickly. So you got to make that decision of, you know, go with the veterans who are winning, sprinkle in a couple of, of high-value young players, and then... You know, you got to you got to leave some people behind, unfortunately, trade them, loan them out, do something else with them, play them in the under 23s, obviously. But if they're not happy, they might, you know, they might uh, cause a problem with your team morale. But anyway, we're not quite at that position yet. We're still a, a mostly young club, but we are getting to that position where we got to start making decisions on guys like Rumble, who he has a lot of potential. He's 19 years old, so he still has some way, some ways to grow, but he's sort of asking for first team when he's not, when he's clearly not the best choice at first team. Now, Albie Hopkins is another, is another kettle of fish here because he's got, you know, he's got the physical abilities that I want, so he just hasn't been given his opportunity yet. He's three, he's two and a half stars. Oops, sorry, he's two and a half stars, so he's already significantly better than Rumble. Uh, and physically, he's better than Rumble. He's faster. He's you know, maybe not much stronger, but he is uh, a better physical example than Rumble. So I think Rumble is going to be one of those guys that we sort of cut loose and say, look, 
you know, you got a lot of potential, but, you know, um, if he doesn't, if he doesn't show progress real soon, he's going to get left in, in the dust. So anyway, uh, also we're going to give Yates a shot at striker. It's been a while since he's played a game, so going to give him a shot. We want to save uh, our regular strikers for the Venerama game. Now I am going to play Abrams just to give us a little bit of firepower up front, and um, that'll allow us to bring in another another player at striker for the next game. So that's fine. We got a lot of strikers this year, so there's no problem in that area with depth. Um, anything else we need to look at? I guess we could look at Bishop Stortford. Take a look at their guys. Um, hmm. Yeah, we don't really know much about these guys, of course. Because I never scout out my opponents. But, I mean, I'm sure they're fine. They're top of the league-ish, fourth place. So let's just go. We got a lot of guys with match fitness problems. That's to be expected. You know, when I bring these subs in and I switch formations so often, I do risk I do risk running into the um the fitness problem where we have I have starters who aren't full match fit by the end of the season, but hopefully I can remedy that with some friendlies at the end of the season to keep us fit. So we are going defensive 4-4-2. Uh, I'll see how that works and then probably switch it to counterattack fairly quickly. Unless we're just controlling the match. Okay, they're going to close down on everybody. According to our assistant coach, I'm fine with that. Nobody predicts a win. We give them a bit of encouragement. Come on, guys. Show everyone what you can do. blah 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 I think we're away for this match. Yeah, their stadium looks similar to ours, but we don't have the we don't have that background, I don't think. So here we go. Looks like they start out with the match with the ball. We're on our third uniforms here, our specialty red uniforms, because I guess they got the home blues. Oh, there's a missed cue there, but can't take advantage of it. Would have been nice if we were on a run. Could have caught up with that. Nice header there. Couldn't win it, though. Defense is staying back nicely. There we go. Can't get past PK. Got our basketball lineup in on the back line. Two guys, six foot six and six foot seven on the back line. There we go. There's a nice win. Yates, what can you do with it? Nice play. Abrams wins that ball. Let's be smart here. No, got, don't have much attacking options right now. Yates, that was kind of a shoddy play. Yeah, we basically only have like a few guys going forward. Abrams, one of those. Let's get the shot. Ooh, it's wide. So if we get more highlights like like that. Could maybe uh, maybe loosen things up a little bit, but here we go. Be nice to get a goal out of this. Nope. I mean that's basically why he's on the team, Ranger in Arena. That's why he's on the team is to do the free kicks. I mean he's a decent winger too. There's no no doubt about that. But the real reason we picked him up was for those free kicks. Ooh, let's stop it there. Nice save by Bowman. Seems a fairly even match right now, back and forth. <clears throat> I do think they're getting more of the highlights. Let me take a look at their defense. How many people are they keeping back? Might be only two people they're keeping back. Get it out of there. Nice play. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I think I will go counter. Pump the ball up the box. Pass into space. You know, try to change it up a little bit. 
penalty, not a penalty, but a ooh, free kick. That almost turned into a goal for their side. Can't have that. Uh, the other thing I want to do... I'm going to put Abrams at poacher. You know, if I'm going to be firing the ball forward, I want to fire it out into space and have them go run after it. So poacher and advance forward should be able to work in combination there. They're getting a few too many highlights. I'm not happy with this. That was awful defense. Pretty much the worst defense I've ever seen in my life. First goal of the season for Hickford of a set play. I mean, look at that. Where's the fullback? Where's the defense out there? And then back back line, not even paying attention. He's completely unmarked by about uh, six meters. All right, all right, all right. Let's get one back here on the counter. Rumble, what are you doing, my man? You're not helping your cause with that little situation. There you go, now get it up. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be root one in it here. Oops. I guess I don't have them set to root one, but that's what I want. That's go fire that dang ball. Oops. Now we're down two. Okay, looks like we're gonna be shut out of the old FA trophy here unless something. Something drastic happens. Here we go. Let's get a goal. Nope. It'd be nice if you got those free kicks at least on target. Otherwise, why are you even playing? There we go. Hopkins, let's make a play, my man. There we go. To Yates. Sit out wide to Randrian Arena. He's going to get it stolen most likely. Yep. Could play by Smith, but not enough. Okay, so we're going to move our wingers on to attack. I guess Hopkins. Yeah, we'll put him on automatic. Alright, we'll stick with that for now. We need more players going forward on the attack. Hopefully we could get a goal back before halftime and they don't get a third. That would be awful. Thank you for just being in the way there. I think that was Dalby who was just sort of accidentally in the way of that shot. Otherwise it was a sure goal. All right. Let's go compete. Compete for the ball, man. You're not even trying. There we go. There we go. Abrams to Rumble. Don't mess it up again. And he messed it up. I'm going to blame that on Rumble just because. What's his ranking right now? His rating 6.8. That's not the worst. Bowman's fired up for some reason. And Rumble is looking motivated. All right. So let's change up our instructions here. We need to... I mean, we need to attack. There's no way around it. There's just no way around it. Need to attack. Passionate. I expect a much better showing in the second half. Oh, we got some switched off people. That's no good. Come on, I'm giving you guys your chances here in this match, and you're not coming through. Not at all. All right, I know we just got out of halftime, but I'm going to tell them to show some passion. There we go. Get it up to Yates. Come on, man. He stopped his run. Now he's offsides. All right, so we're closing down on Kieran Yates, and we're going to try to shoot from closer range. Here we get a throw in. Nice play. Smith into the box. Can't win it. Rumble, nice play. Nice pass. Here we go. This is it. Yates there for the cleanup duty, of course. Who else? It's a nice... Uh, he's only his third goal of the season. He hasn't played much this year. There's a nice 
Ball win by Rumble. Got to give him some credit. We've dogged him a little bit this match. Here he goes. He gets the win. Nice pass there to Hopkins. Hopkins to Randry in Arena. Gets the shot. It's deflected, but Yates there to clean it up. Good man. All right. That brings us back into striking distance here. Two to one. See, maybe we showed them a little bit too much respect. Oh, that's got to be offsides. Nope. Nice save by Bowman. That was our fullback's problem there. He wasn't in line with the rest of the defense. Otherwise, that would have been clearly offsides. What's this dude doing right in front of the goal? Bowman, nice, nice grab. So it would be nice to at least pull even here. Still got plenty of time left. Bishop Stortford, they just substituted. Here we go, free kick. Quinn, what are you going to do with it? Rumble. Safe play there. Dalby, of course. That's what he does. Oh, Abrams with the play. Wow, he won that header nicely. Yeah, that's the one thing about Dalby is he does not mess around, man. He just he fires the ball up the up the field. That's his that's his thing. It's his deal. That's why his passing rating is so low, but you know, sometimes it works. Especially when you got, you know, Abrams up there. Tuki Tiali, if he's you know, he hasn't played much this season, but because of injuries and things. Okay, bad defense to play there, but great save by Bowman. This is why I like to have real good goalkeepers, just because uh, I play a little risky on my defense. Oof. That was just bad. That was just set play badness. Another guy gets his first goal of the season. This is ridiculous. So this was just poor set play, number 11. I don't know who that is, but he does not mark his man at all. Who is that? Randry and Arena. Yeah, his marking's not good. So that might do it for us. That might. All right, that definitely does it for Rumble. I'm going to get him out of there. Bring in Dunwoody. Central midfield attack. Hopkins is also a central midfielder. That's fine. Um. Anybody else we want to get out of there at the moment? Not particularly. All right. So we had a brief moment of hope there, but now that hope, I think, is dashed unless we get another goal here real quick. Yates gets a yellow card. Here we go. Let's get a highlight. Let's get a goal. Ranging Arena to Dunwoody, our new substitute. He plays it back out wide to Smith. He fires it in, and the goalkeeper's there. <sighs> Not a lot of uh, tension there, but it was at least an aggressive play. Oh, boy. There's our defense getting beat. Bowman with the nice save. This defensive line is just not playing well at all. Parks with the corner. Ugh. I don't understand how we're getting crushed on these set plays all of a sudden. It's not, it hasn't been a problem much this season. And all of a sudden just... Is that three set play goals? I mean, one... I, I guess the first one was... It was off of a free kick. It was, you know... Seemed like a play. It seemed like that was a uh, something they practiced. All right, all right, all right. Let's get some subs in there. Adams, who's got the low? Ugh, look at our defensive rating, man. 6.1. That's terrible. All right, so I'll bring in Adams for PK. Can't get any worse on the back line. And then uh, either... Can bring in Adams for Hopkins, maybe. 
Quinn is even more tired. I can bring in Stewart for Quinn, but I don't know how much of an upgrade that is, if any. So I guess, I guess I'll go with Adams for Hopkins. Uh, let's see, what is he? He plays ball winning midfielder, so that's good. That's a good sub there. So it looks like we are for sure out of the FA Trophy. Played a little bit weaker squad, but I thought they could get by. I thought, I mean, these guys have all played before. They've all been, you know, if not starters, they've been key reserves. Dolby almost got that. Quinn. Abrams. Ooh, shoots it wide. That, he seemed to have the whole goal open there, but couldn't quite finish. It's been that kind of game. Almost finished here. One minute left in stoppage. This should do it here. And there we go. End of the match. Don't be too harsh on the players. Whatever. I'm not happy. Not happy going out like that. That was bad. Take a look. Uh, Leighton... 6.3 rating, that's no good. Their man of the match, Jay Parks, three key passing, 80% passer rating, 8.5 overall rating, one assist. That's pretty good. Analysis, what are we looking at here? Bowman with eight saves. I mean, he it was a valiant effort on his part. Sam Smith, only nine interceptions. PK, 21. Yates had a goal. I mean, that's a positive there. Hopkins had 13 interceptions. That's not bad. Abrams and Arena did not play well at all. Quinns ran a lot. Rumble, 11 interceptions, I guess. Overall, a very poor performance. Very poor performance. Our ratings were so low there. Uh, next up, I guess... I don't think there's anything going on with Team Canada recently. Um, no. Well, maybe. No, those were previous matches. We had a couple of 0-0 zero -zero friendlies. Not a lot of fun going on there. Nothing on the schedule going forward. Uh, so I guess on our schedule here, what do we got? So we just got the three-quarter season update to look forward to. And then hopefully promotion and or playoffs. One of the two or both of the two I guess I could have. Could have playoffs and then promotion. But I'd rather just uh, win the dang old league and uh, get promoted automatically. But uh, either way, see you next time. Bye.